In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page in system.io for free. So to start, let's go to the top and type in the URL. And it's S-Y-S-T-E-M-E dot I-O. Click here. And to sign up, what you want to do is you just want to enter your email address, either the button on top or right here. And then you're going to fill out your name and other information. It's free to sign up, so you don't need to worry about that. And what we're going to do is go to pricing and see the pricing details. And system.io is pretty affordable. Everything we're going to do today is going to be on the free plan. And there really is no need to upgrade until you get some sales in. Their pricing is affordable. So when you do grow your business, you can always choose another plan. So after you sign up, go to the home page and click sign in. And the initial dashboard will look like this. It'll show the sales that you've completed through your landing pages or sales funnels or even your website. And you can do all that within system.io. You can build out funnels, build your email list, create a blog, set up automations and workflows, as well as sell your own products and create your own affiliate marketing courses. At the very top, you can always click the upgrade your account button once you've started making sales and you want to open up more options. So to build out a simple landing page, we're gonna go over to funnels. Then we're gonna head over to the right hand side and click create. And we'll name this ebook download page because we're going to be offering a free ebook to download for our customers. We're going to click custom and create. Next, we're going to head over to the left hand side and click the create step. We're going to paste in the same and under type, we're going to go all the way to the bottom and choose info page. We want to build this page out from scratch. Click save. Hover over the page and click select. And then go all the way over to the right, over to the edit page button and click it. Now we want to head to the very top. This is just a privacy policy page. We don't need this, we're just going to delete it. So go to the top where it says section, hover over to the right, click the trash can icon and click OK. Now I want to hover over the top of the footer and delete the footer as well. Next, we're gonna add some text. So hover over to the left-hand side, click on the headline text and hold, and drag it over to where you want it. And we're gonna double click and highlight this and type in download your ebook down below. Okay, I'm gonna change the font. So we'll go over to the left-hand menu under font type. Click it and choose Google Fonts. And I'm going to choose Lato for this. Click it. And we want a bold. So let's do a bold 700. As you can see, it's bold now. I'm going to click into this white space and I'm going to choose an image. So head over to the media area. Choose image, hold and click and drag out. Okay, now we need to upload a file. So click select file. And I'm going to choose this. 3D ebook cover that I already created in Canva. I'll leave a link in the description down below to that video on how to create a 3D book cover image. So we're gonna click this right here. It's gonna upload. Okay, now click insert. And as you can see, the book is gigantic. So what we're gonna do is click on the book, go over to image size, and we're gonna shrink that down by moving the slider to the left. And let's see, we want that probably 300. Now I want to add a button to the very bottom so they can download. And to do this, we're going to add a pre-built block and then use the button. So click on the white space. On the left-hand side, next to elements, go to blocks. Go down where it says welcome. Click it. Head all the way down to this. Click it. Now what I want to do is add a column layout. So on the left-hand menu side, scroll down to where it says column layout. And we're going to choose this row. And we're going to move this up. So it's underneath the book image. And we're going to take our button and click on it. And we're going to drag it up. And we're going to place it inside that row. Now we just wanted that button. So we're going to go down and delete this section. And we're going to delete this section as well. Click OK. Now we're going to move the button up 
So I click on the row, and we're going to see the left-hand side where it says margin. And on the top margin, click the decrease margin arrow. And as you can see, it's bringing our button up. And we kind of want to match the spacing between the header text and the image to the button and the image. Negative 120 looks good. So now let's click the button again and go to the left-hand side. We're going to go to the top and we're going to go open URL. And we're going to choose open in a new window. Now what we want to do is we want to paste in our URL of where our downloadable book, our PDF file is at. So you need to host your digital ebook on your own website or Google Drive. For now, I'm just gonna paste a PDF file inside the URL area, just as an example. So I already have a WordPress website, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna host the free downloadable PDF book inside that website. Then I'm gonna find the URL of where that ebook is saved. I'm gonna place the URL right here. So you can use Google Drive if you want to bypass having a WordPress website. You can upload your ebook to your Google Drive account, which is free, and you can get the shareable link and then paste it inside here so they can download the ebook. Okay, I'm gonna paste the URL in here. Make sure that it says open a new window once again. And let's change the button color. Let's do a green. That looks good. Okay, now let's change the text to Lido, just like our title up here. So under font type, click down, click Google Fonts. Type in Lido, click. And we'll do this a bold 700 as well. Next, we're gonna to go to the very top and click Save Changes. And then click the eyeball icon to preview. There we go. Now we get this message at the top that tells us that this is a preview mode and do not use the URL. So this is just the preview URL. So to get the actual live URL, we're gonna click out of here. And I just noticed that my button text doesn't say what I want to say. So I'm gonna click on the button section and then go to the left hand side and scroll down to where it says button text under typography. I'm gonna change this to click here to download ebook. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the top again and save changes. And then we go to the exit button and click it. Okay, I'll click the copy button. You'll get the copy message. And what we wanna do is we wanna go in a new window, preferably an incognito window. And we'll paste that inside there. All right, here's our page. And we, when we click to download, here's our book that we created. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to how I created this basic ebook inside of Canva, just using templates. So here they can see all the pages and they can read it, or they can go to the very top and click the download button. And it's gonna allow them to save the PDF file to the computer. As you can see, system.io offers four plans. Today we took a look at the free plan and really, until you start making money, that's really all you need. They allow up to 2,000 email contacts, but you can send unlimited emails. You can have three sales funnels, 10 sales funnel steps, one blog, unlimited blog posts, a membership website, unlimited file storage space, unlimited membership site members, one of each of these. Of course, you get all this as well. So you get PayPal integration and Stripe integration. You get one custom domain. And yeah, until you start making money, I would definitely stick with the free plan. I'll leave a link in the description down below for the free plan. It is an affiliate link. So if you do choose the startup plan, the webinar plan, or enterprise plan, I will make a small commission. But like I said before, you can just start with a free plan and build out your business up until you start making sales. So if you're interested, you can follow that link down below. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.